Was it like a bit of an homage to like uh, like Roadhouse? That's one of my favorite movies, and I always envisioned this bar. I mean, not with the chicken wire fence and you know some blind dude playing a, a lap guitar, but we wanted a down and dirty bar. <laughs> <laughs> Dale Taldi of Pork Slope in Park Slope. Thanks for having us today. Thanks for having me. You had your other restaurants. You have like Thistle Hill, you have Taldi. This place is kind of different though. Yeah, this, you know, Pork Slope was always our homage to the local dive bar that we kind of all grew up in. A neighborhood bar that was kind of divey with zero pretension. To me, food is important and, and, and you know, something to suck up all the poison while you're drinking it is, is important and that's what this was always trying to be. Tell me a little bit more about the chicken sandwich that you're making here. So this is our fried chicken sandwich. We just put it on the menu. Um, it's like my perfect Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. I'm a big fan of the number six, so I wanted to make my own number six, except make it taste good, use great ingredients, use a local bakery, make our own ranch, marinate my own chicken breasts. So I wanted to make it as much of my own as possible, but still taste like, you know, that, that famous number six I kind of grew up eating. So how do you get started? Like, how, what do you do with the chicken? How do you marinate it? We have this seven ounce piece of chicken, we split it in half. Our marinade for our chickens are um, buttermilk, and our house hot sauce, which is just 50-50 Franks and Sriracha. And then we let it marinate for about 12 hours, give it a little bit of salt, and then we have our dredge here, which is just um, all-purpose flour, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, celery salt. Black pepper to me kind of makes that flavor in fried chicken that you're always kind of searching for. Um, and then we dredge this into a little bit of egg wash. Make sure it gets covered both sides. So this is just egg beaten egg and then back into this flour. And that's just to help the, the egg wash that here yeah. get a little bit more of a crust on there. Yeah, the crust has to be flaky, seasoned well, crunchy. Fried chicken's not fried chicken if it's not crunchy. And then this goes into 325 degree oil. Mm -hmm. We let it cook there for about seven to eight minutes, cooking it in just vegetable oil. The oil has to be hot when it first mm -hmm. goes in or else the batter's gonna take in all that oil and be greasy and not crunchy. You know, we have a hot chili oil here. Mm -hmm. We take vegetable oil, garlic, and onions, cook that down with a ton of cayenne, salt, and hot pepper flakes. And it creates this really spicy oil. When you add it to the chicken sandwich, it still keeps it crunchy, um, but adding a ton of flavor to it. When you're frying, you're really just getting rid of water. So when the bubbles start to get really small, less moisture is left in the chicken, so then you know the chicken's close to being done. So now this chicken has got a great crust to it. We season the chicken. So it kind of adheres yeah. while the oil's still on there. And this is the time when we give this a little bath with, with our hot oil. oil. Right yeah. So I like our chicken kind of spicy. So what's the sample of the sandwich? Um, we have a potato roll here, we've toasted it. And for me, fried chicken and ranch are kind of like the marriage made in heaven. It's like that cool creaminess mixed with that, the spiciness. Absolutely. So we have shaved cabbage here. I like this over lettuce. I think it gives it a little bit more body. I feel like lettuce wilts too quickly. Yeah, so it gives you a hot. little more crunch. Yeah, and I like putting it on the bottom bun. I want your first reaction to this sandwich to be with the hot chicken first. So our dredged hot chicken, nice and crunchy. We double do the ranch. Then some pickles. The brininess, the acidity, plays really nice with the, um, just how kind of rich this dish is. I remember mean, I'm gonna front. This is a fatty sandwich. And then, just the top, right on top. And there's our sandwich. That's a beautiful sandwich. I think you should just get in Guy Fieri, that motherfucker. Guy Fieri it for you? Yeah. All right. There it is. I can do the Guy Fieri. There it is. No, you're good. You don't have anything on your face. You're totally good. It does have like a really nice spiciness to it, but it's like doesn't overpower the flavor. Cause sometimes you get like spicy stuff where it's just like it's all you taste. All you get is just heat yeah. in your mouth. That is super good. Yeah, for here, I mean, that's kind of what you just did is kind of what we want. We want that it's to be flaky and crunchy, and that every time you're taking a bite, it kind of flakes off. A sandwich is the sum of its parts, mm -hmm. right? It's everything. It's the bread. It's the garnish. It's the sauce. It's the protein. That's what I love about sandwiches is that it's a complete meal. If you were to serve this to one person, who do you want to serve that to? I would love to serve it to, to, to Hugh, because, I mean, I don't want to be shamed with self-promotion, but I do want to, at one point, be chilling at the Playboy Mansion, you know what I'm saying? Kind of party it up in the grotto, uh, see what he thinks about spicy food. <laughs> it lends itself well to meat ragus because it's a heartier pasta and the ridges on it tend to catch the sauce. Yeah, as the pasta kind of starts to release its starch, mm -hmm. you can see that.